Uh, well, hello friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss about TMP007. It's interfacing with Raspberry Pi using Python code. Let's take a look at the sensor on controleverything.com. Uh, it is an infrared thermopile sensor with integrated math engine. Uh, in simple language, it is a 14-bit local temperature sensor with an accuracy of plus minus 1 degree Celsius, uh, ranging from 0 degrees to plus 60 degrees Celsius. And for the code uh, of the sensor, you can check out our resources section at controleverything.com. Uh, here, as you can see, there is this Python code. Uh, elsewhere, you can even check out our GitHub repository, which is Control Everything Community. Let's take a look at the code and let's understand its interfacing. This is the Raspberry Pi module. And these are the GPIOs of a Raspberry Pi module. Now, this is the I2C adapter. You can find this I2C adapter on controleverything.com. We need this I2C adapter to make the connection with other I2C devices easy. This is the TMP007 sensor. Now to connect this sensor, you need an I2C cable. While making connections, please make sure that the ground of the cable is connected to the ground of the sensor. Similarly, the brown cable is connected to the ground of the I2C adapter. And now, this is the micro USB cable. We need this cable to power up the Raspberry Pi. To provide internet connection to the Raspberry Pi, we require an Ethernet cable. Connect this cable to the Ethernet jack of Raspberry Pi. You may also use a Wi-Fi adapter to provide internet to the Raspberry Pi. For the sensor code, uh, let's go inside GitHub. Um, this is github.com. In here, you need to search for Control Everything Community. And inside Control Everything Community, you need to search for the sensor, which is TMB007. Uh, for the Python code, you need to understand that uh, it is important to install the SMBus library. Now, uh, the steps to install the SMBus library are given onto this link. And to run this code, you need to give a command. This is the command. Now, let's take a look at the code in Python. And here is the code. Now, as I told you, you need to first import the SMBus library. Then, uh, you need to uh, set the configuration as 1540 which means a continuous mode configuration with a comparator mode onto the configuration register which is 0x02 over uh, the device address which is 0x40. Now you need to read back the data. The data will be in two bytes. First the temperature MSB and then the temperature LSB. To convert the data, you need to go to the data sheet and check for the formula. And uh, you can print the data in two formats uh, which is degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Now this will tell you the object temperature in degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Now for the implementation of the code, you need to copy the code first and then you need to shift to the terminal. Here you need to create a new file with .py extension. Now you need to paste the code and then save it. Now run the code. with this command. As you can see the temperature in Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Now when I put my finger on the sensor there is a change in temperature. Similarly if I do that again there is a change in temperature again. Alright now that you've understood the working of sensor TMP007 uh, with Raspberry Pi let me tell you something more about it. It is used for temperature management for non-contact devices such as uh, computers and pr printers and PCs and even objects like heat sinks. Uh, in case you have any kinds of doubts and queries, you can write in to us at contact us in controleverything.com. You can even leave your comments at community portal at controleverything.com. You can check out our blogs at instructables.com. 
uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and at the end thanks for watching